Hi students, did you listen my previous class, everyone? Did you do homework or assessment? Yes. What we discussed in the last class? We discussed about the digestive system. Is it right? Yes. What is digestion? How many parts are there in the digestive system or digestive tract? Is it right or not? We discussed about all these things. Our digestion starts with the mouth, after that esophagus or food pipe is there and after that the food will reach to the stomach, okay, it will make the paste, the sac like organ, after that the, the food enters into the small intestine, it is 6 nanometers of length, after that food, the food remaining excess food or undigested food goes to the large intestine, okay, and uh, remaining uh, water like percentage like that water if there is there is absorbed in the large intestine after the excess under this food expelled out through the anus this type of total information discussed in the digestion is it right yes now we are going to discuss in this class another topic is it clear yes what is the name of the topic today we are discussing respiratory system respiratory system ok so these are all very useful to you for your previous class and the listen carefully ok so what is respiration first of all I have discussed what is respiration before going to discuss respiration First of all, we are all eating food. Tell me, is it right or not? Yes. Why we are eating food? To get energy, to stay healthy, and to grow. Is it right? Yes. So, do you know how, is the, how we are getting energy? So, we discuss in the digestive system how food is, taking food is, can get a digest and it will make like food, uh, paste, like that we discussed. Not only like that, not only that, but so after digesting food, that is converted into energy. How it is converted into energy? With the help of oxygen. With the help of oxygen, our taking food convert into energy. Food convert into energy. Is it clear? How we are getting this energy? I'm sorry. How we are getting how we are taking this oxygen into our body? How we are taking inside? Yes, with the help of a nose. Do you have nose? Yes. We are taking breathe inside. Like this. Is it right? Yes. When we take air inside, so automatically in that air, oxygen is there. So that will reach to our lungs. Then, with the help of that is that oxygen exchanging in our lungs that is passed to the different parts of the body and different parts cells in the organs small small cells are there so this oxygen is rich to cells in that cells our taking food when that food mixed with oxygen then energy is producing is it clear so this total process is called uh, breathing this process is called uh, breathing uh, or respiration is called respiration. Is it clear for all? What is respiration? Means our taking food convert into energy with the help of oxygen. So it is called respiration. Is it clear? Our taking food convert into energy with the help of oxygen is called respiration now we are discussing about respiratory system is it right yes first of all we are discussing about what is respiration respiration means we are taking food and we are taking air also inside so this food convert into energy generally we are discussing it but how it is converting like an energy means with when the food digestive food mixed with oxygen that is converted into energy this process is called a respiration is it clear yes 
and uh, one more word is there we have discussed some more there that what is that breathing i am discussing now respiration now we are discussing breathing do you know what is breathing yes breathing is nothing either see simple generally we are all doing this this activity is it right but uh, we can't observe what we are taking it like this like we can't observe but this is continuous process even we are in sleep also it is going on it is happening is it clear yes so what is now we are discussing what is breathing what is breathing means nothing is there when we take air inside taking air inside and uh, giving out waste substance or giving out air so this process is called uh, breathing taking air air, air inside and uh, give releasing our air outside releasing air outside this is called uh, breathing clear yes so this breathing contains it is involving in two process it is involving in two processes that is inhaling that is inhaling process and uh, exhaling process this one so this two also very simple inhaling is nothing but when we are taking air inside is hence inside it okay when we are taking air inside this process is called inhaling process when we release out air this process is called exhaling process these two process are involving in breathing okay clear breathing is taking air inside releasing out release releasing air out this process is called breathing so in this breathing process two two are there two process are involved they are inhaling process and the exhaling process is it clear when you take air inside our lungs will expand when we release out our lungs will contract okay inhaling process exhaling process these two mingle and form breathing is it called breathing okay clear yes now we are going to discuss we are taking air and are releasing out air is it okay clear but in this respiration process or in this respiratory system here we have mainly four organs are there okay how many organs are there yes so this respiratory system is made up of with four organs with the four organs these four organs are involving in the respiratory system okay so what are they first one is nose first one is nose okay here we are seeing this is the respiratory system diagram respiratory system diagram so what is there here so this is the human head and here nose so through the nose are also one actually there and uh, through the mouth also one can see there see sometimes we are closing i am closing my mouth now is it right now i am taking air inside and releasing out is it clear and then when we when i close when we are closing our nose also we are breathing see is it clear so here nose connection and the mouth connection both mingle here so we are breathing. we are taking breath with the nose and mouth both both we are taking air inside is it clear yes so this uh, nose are not one pipe and uh, mouth are not one pipe coming and they are mixing here okay they connect here after they form like a one pipe okay it here we are seeing here karu pipe we are seeing karu pipe here generally if we touch also here karu sa the steps this is wind pipe this is wind pipe this wind pipe finally Uh, expand change into two parts okay here that is uh, change here two parts okay and these two parts connect to the lungs 
Okay. So in the respiratory system, these four organs are there. Okay. And uh, first, this respiratory system starts with begins with the nose. Begins with the nose. Clear. First of all, we have discussed about nose. After one by one, one by one, we have we will discuss. First, nose. Do we have nose? Yes. Everybody has nose. So this is our nose. This is one of the sense organs. Okay. So our nose contain two nostrils. See here, one hole is there. Here one hole is there. Okay. These holes are called nostrils. What are called? Nostrils. Okay. And uh, this nose is connected to the one pair that is middle pair. This nose connected to middle pair. And then the same way mouth connection also is there to the middle pair. Here we are seeing clear. This is the nose pair. And this is the mouth pair. These two pairs connected to the middle pair. Next part. This is the next part. Okay. And so two nostrils are there. With the help of these two nostrils, we are taking air inside. Is it right? Like this. Okay. And uh, when the air enters into our nose, when the air enters into our nose or nostrils, so if we see, like so open and see in the mirror, is inside we have air. Inside we have air. Air is there. What is there? Air is there. And uh, if we put our finger inside, it's like sticky gum is there. Sticky gum also is there. That is called a mucus. That is called a mucus. Okay now. Hey, I mean, you know, hey, hey, is how is the hey on the head? Say this type of hair is there inside our nostrils. And uh, what is the use of hair? So it can stop the dust particles when we are taking air inside. So in the air, dust particles like that are there. Okay, dust particles, other particles are there. Okay, when they are enter into our nostrils, then they will stuck. With the help of hair, they will stop them. Okay, that's why we have hair inside our nostrils. In the same way, mucus also is there. Mucus is producing in our nose. How it is producing? Mucus glands are there. Here above the nose, here we have mucus glands. What are they? Mucus glands are there. Okay. Now. These mucus glands are releasing this mucus substance. It is like sticky gum type is it? Gum type is it? Okay, sticky gum type is it? So this one also helps to purify the purify the air. When we take air, so that air touch to the mucus layer. So that is sticky type is it? No, any dust particles like that are there is they will pass into the mucus layer. So like this. Any dust particles are polluted air. If we, if we breathe polluted air also, they will purify. Fresh air, fresh air only enters into our lungs. Is it clear? So this is the use use of air and mucus in our nose. Okay, next. And uh, this nose or mouth pipes are connected to the windpipe. Next part. What is the next part? Windpipe. The wind pipe. Okay, now we are discussing about wind What is the use of wind pipe when we take air? Okay, with the help of nostrils or nose, this wind pipe connects a passage to the air to the lungs part. So these are the lungs. These are the two lungs. Okay, 
and uh, this wind pipe change into trachea, two parts. This part is called trachea. It is changing divided into two parts. The, the, this part is called trachea part. Each and every trachea connects to the lungs. Okay, connects to the lungs. And the bronchus are pipes to the bronchus with this part, bronchus. Bronchus are connected to the lungs. This is wind pipe. Okay, next, lungs. So, how much lungs? We are, here we are seeing how many lungs. Here, left side one lung is there, right side one lung is there. So, here we have two lungs in our body. And now, chest is there. How many lungs are there? Two lungs are there. Okay. So these two lungs are very soft. Uh, they made up of with soft substance. Okay. And that's why they are getting when we take air inside, they are expanding. When we release air outside, they are getting contact. Is it clear? Yes. So they are they, they are this, like a sponge. Do you know sponge? Like you see there. This is a sponge. See when we press this one, it is crushing, folding like this, bending. So our lungs also, when we take air, expand, when we release outside, can't like it. So they look like a sponge. This is a sponge. It is very soft. Okay? Yes. And uh, inside the inside the lungs, some millions of small our ventricle blood, blood vessels are there so these blood vessels are bringing impure blood when the impure blood comes to here uh, not sorry pure blood so when we take air inside inside the air oxygen is there this oxygen mixed with that uh, blood purified blood then it will go to the heart heart is sending to overall the body parts this is happening okay next but how these lungs are getting expanding and contracting. Now we discuss now. When we take air, lungs are getting expand. When we release outside, our lungs are getting contact. Is it right? But how it is happening? How it is happening? Means the last part is diaphragm. So with the help of diaphragm. So when we are seeing diaphragm, this is the diaphragm. Okay. Downside of the lungs, this diaphragm part is there. Okay. This diaphragm is made up of muscles. It is made with the muscle. Okay. That is why this uh, diaphragm is always going down side and uh, coming up side they are pushing down pulling down and pushing up so here this uh, diaphragm part muscle is connected to our two lungs so when this diaphragm part pulls down it is muscle when it pulls down automatically our lungs will expand means then immediately we will take a uh, like this okay when we release outside, how we are releasing outside, taking air, when this diaphragm muscle is getting relaxed position. So automatically what will happen? Our lungs will get a contract position. Automatically air will come out. So this is continuous process. So that is why your diaphragm also working continuously. Even we are in sleep also. So this is a muscle part. This is the work of diaphragm. These are the four parts, mainly four parts in our respiratory system. Respiratory system. Is it clear? Nose, okay, windpipe, trachea, or here we are calling them lungs. And the last one is diaphragm. This is the respiratory system. Understood everyone? Next. In this respiration, 
so many animals are there we are seeing so many animals is it right but are they taking aids in the same way now see this is about the human being respiration okay now so how he is take air inside means with the help of nose after it enters the window part that is uh, changing it like a frog ya or brown guy after that is enter into our lungs okay so automatically gases are exchanged in the lungs part so these lungs are working with the help of that but this is the respiration in the human being but if we are seeing so many animals fish are there plants are there other animals are there okay in them if we see respiratory system is there like this model no something different is now we are going to discuss in them so they breathing in different organism breathing in different organism First of all, we will discuss plants. Do you know plants also take air inside and they are releasing outside? Okay, na? Do you know how it is? How they are changing? How they are breathing? How human beings are taking breath? The same way plants also breathing. How it is possible then? Yes. Do you know about stomata and stomata? स्टोमैटा This is the breathing organ. Organ. This is the breathing organ. These are the breathing. These are the breathing organs. The plants. Where they can see? Where we can see this stomata? This stomata. Now, so generally they have leaves like this. Is it plants? Plants have leaves. Okay. Under the leaves, we can see small, small, tiny pores. They are called stomata. They are called. stomata with the help of stomata means there are small holes tiny holes small pores with the help of this these stomata plants are taking air inside and are releasing out how we are taking air and are how we are releasing out in the same way they are taking light but when they will breathe see human beings are breathing continuous even we are in sleep also we are breathing taking air and releasing out taking air out air inside and are releasing out air also okay, is it right so it is continuous process it is going on we never stop it but if we see in the plants plants are breathing only at times at the night is it clear they are breathing only at night but during day time what they will do how they can live without breathing See, if we stop two minutes, three minutes, we will think that we will die. Is it right? Or? But they are not breathing during day time. They are not breathing, but even though they are living, is it right? How it is possible? What they will do day time? This tomato. Day time, what they will do? They will take carbon dioxide. Do you know photosynthesis process? Yes. In the in the photosynthesis process, they are preparing their own food. So in that time, what they will do? In the help of stomata, they are taking carbon dioxide inside and they are releasing outside oxygen during day time. But during night time, what they will do? They will take oxygen inside and they are releasing out carbon dioxide. How we are breathing? Oxygen is going inside, carbon dioxide is coming outside. In the same way, plants are breathing night time only. So then they will take like us oxygen. releasing out like a carbon dioxide like as carbon dioxide but they do what they will do opposite opposite they they will take carbon dioxide inside they will release out oxygen out so like a plants are breathing and uh, if you take another organism 
suppose aquatic plants uh, in the same way these are the terrestrial plants land plants some plants are living growing on land so they are they have so many other leaves but uh, some plants are growing in the water also like lotus lily hydrilla eucalyptus like that are so they also have leaves no but then where are the where we where we find this tomato is above the leaf lotus leaf is there like this is the lotus leaf okay na? we can see this tomato outside not down what now down side okay yes so if we see suppose if we take another uh, animal suppose what is that earthworm do you know earthworm earthworm they earthworm can breathe with the help of skin they can breathe with the help of skin they have moist skin if it touch always wet is there that's called moist moist skin they have moist skin with the help of moist skin they will breathe suppose frog frogs are uh, living in two places frogs sometimes they are living on the land sometimes they are living in the water okay na when they are living in water they are breathing with the help of moist skin moist skin when they are living on land they are breathing with the lungs clear that is why frogs are called amphibians these are living in two places sometimes they are living uh, on land sometimes they are living in water also both places they are living that's why we are called them amphibians next if you take fish do you know how fish are breathing with the help of gills is it clear gills are you eating fish yes every sunday or so sometimes we are eating fish so while we are cutting fish when we open their uh, beside the head some caps two caps are there when you open them is red color parts are there like this like this are they are called the gills they are called the gills with the help of gills they will breathe they are breathing in the water is it possible to us breathe in water can we breathe inside the water no it's not possible why we are not living in the water we are all living on the land that is why it's not possible to live in water but fishes are fish are there can they live on land no it's not possible they can't take air directly how should they air is there but can they take the air directly no so how they are breathing in the water in in the water dissolve oxygen is there dissolve mixing oxygen is there in the water so that oxygen they will take by the gills clear next uh, insects are insects means like cockroach like insects are how they will breathe they will breathe with the help of spiracles spiracles they look like a tubes okay so with the help of spiracles these insects are taking air inside and releasing outside example cockroach scorpion like okay so these are the different uh, organ uh, the breathing in different uh, organisms see first of all we discussed about plants no? how they are breathing plants are taking air inside and they are giving out with the help of uh, stomata okay where we have to see this stomata part stomata part we can see them under the leaves which plants are uh, growing on the land some plants are growing inside the water so in them we can see them outside of leaf means above the leaf okay with the help of some matter they will next we see here we discuss here earthworm so earthworm skin if we see earth, earthworm skin moist is there wet is there with the help of moist skin they will breathe okay next frogs they breathe with the skin and in the same way lungs when they are living in water they will breathe with the help of skin when they are living on land they are breathing with the help of lungs and fish fish generally fish are living in water so that's why with the help of fish they have special breathing organs they are called gills so when we open the side of the caps we are seeing this type of parts they are called gills they are called gills 
they are breathing and then insects example cockroach scorpion like that are there locust like that are there they are breathing with the help of spider organs so this is breathing in different organs is it clear understood everyone yes here a small assessment the organs in respiratory system Thank you.